Hey guys, it's uh, Chris here bringing you the word for the month for June 2020. If you're anything like me, you woke up after the Prime Minister's announcement that we were going into lockdown with questions. I remember I had so many questions, like how do I do my job now? Like really, I'm a youth worker, how does that, how does that work? Um, you know, are we going to be okay? How long is this going to last? So many questions that went through my mind. And I felt really uneasy, felt really uncertain. I was privileged though that day on the Tuesday to uh, be in uh, conversation with some incredible people where we were able to inspire each other and to, you know, to think this is going to be okay, this is going to be all right. And over the, the weeks, the innovation, uh, the way in which uh, people and technology could come together to bring, all, um, bring services and bring hospitality and, and lots of different things, it was inspiring, really inspiring. But as the weeks went on as well, I was also becoming really aware of that I wasn't in control. And uh, there were characteristic flaws in me that I was having to wrestle with, things that I didn't like, um, ways in which I was responding to situations. They just weren't, I just wasn't who I wanted to be. So I had to make a decision to be like, actually, who do I want to be when I come out of lockdown? And I feel so grateful that God has really helped me challenge myself to think differently and it's about who do I want to be who am I becoming who am I being molding into and I think that's a really encouraging way to view this time because it is hard there are things that are really challenging there are things that are really difficult but as I was reflecting only just a couple of weeks ago about the Israelites about how when they were in the wilderness and they were having to follow the pillar of the cloud and the pillar of fire and they didn't know how long that was going to be for. Their options were quite limited. So like, do they go back to slavery? Um, nope. Um, do they try and go off and make little sub-communities around in these barren lands? Or what was that going to be like? Or did they just have to trust the leader that they had in front of them and actually just keep following? And as the cloud was there, and whether they had to move or sit or wait for however long, who knew at that time? that actually that was a really special time in Israel's history, despite the fact that actually it was hard, that God was refining them and he was moving them into a model of themselves where they could actually be useful, where they could actually be really uh, glorifying towards God. And that time was so precious for the foundations of our faith, you know, for, for our beliefs. And, and I just really am encouraged by um, the beginning of um, Exodus 13, 21. It says, the Lord went before them. And I don't know about you, but I find that incredibly encouraging, that I don't have to be in control. I just have to follow the one that is in control. And that's great because he knows what's ahead. He knows what happens after lockdown. And actually he's on the move, he is doing stuff. You know, you only have to look in society, seeing how uh, people in, in the church are responding. You know, not just our church, but in churches around the world. The fact that, you know, the words prayer is being Googled more and more all the time. The fact that um, church attendance, whether it be online or whatever, is going up. And people who have never been to church before are going to church. You know, Bible sales are going up. You know, collaborative work ministries like The Blessing. Um, just incredible to see some of the things and people are asking questions you know um, I love in Alpha that like the tagline is like is there more to life than this and uh, you know I think it's quite easy to become quite you know um, looking up to ourselves and how this situation affects us but actually like there are so many people that are asking questions and that yeah it's right to ask that about ourselves but also who is it that we want to be when we come out and how can that help people you know, if people are asking these questions, are we prepared to give them answers? Are we prepared to demonstrate those answers? Because we, it's so easy for us just to share words sometimes, but actually our characters need to change as well. And like with Israel, they had to have their characters changed, they had to be purified, they had to, be, um, they had to go through a refining process to be molded. And I know the fact that could be really difficult for us as individuals. Um, I've personally found it difficult but knowing the fact that I wouldn't change it because I'm hoping and trusting that when I come out of this, I'm going to be in a better position to serve people. I'm going to be in a better position to love people and that my family are going to be closer together. You know, there's going to be things that are going to, I'm going to hold more precious, the simplicity of life. And I think that's good. I think those are really good things. So I encourage each of you to ask that question of yourselves, like, are you prepared 
to go your own way, to look for alternatives? Are you prepared to follow God, the one who's gone ahead of us, the one who has the answers, and that ultimately is going to bring about good? You know, we can choose joy, we can choose to worship, we can choose hope. And I think that's a better way of living. So I'd encourage you all this month to really think about that, to think about does, does God want to bring about change in your character for your, you know, for, for you, for your town, for your community, um, and ultimately for God's glory. So uh, yeah, it, that's the word for the month for you for June. I'm going to get back to swinging now because um, I'm enjoying it.